Howdy guys. Happy National Ceiling Fan Day. I'm doing this late in the day, I know. Um, we do have the AC on. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for sake of the video to keep the... Um, let me go ahead and turn that off real quick. I'll pause the video. Alright, I just turned it off. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to turn off the AC for the entire day. The inner fan is still running. I heard the thing go off outside, but it's still running for some reason. It's okay, as long as it's not air conditioning. Um, but here we are. This is the Hampton Bay Huntington 3, I believe. The Huntington 2 has uh, three lights, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know you guys always do. Um, this one's got some Alexa bulbs in it. Uh, she probably heard me. Anyway. It's got, uh, I should probably just say smart bulbs. It's got smart bulbs in it. I don't want her saying anything during the video. That's weird. But here's the Hampton Bay Huntington 3. We got a nice little squishy ball there. And the chain is just kind of... I don't want to turn off the light because that'll, dis that'll disconnect the bulbs. It's been wobbling lately. Because of... Um, I think something may have hit the one of the blades. I had to bend it back in place. And these blades are rather new as well. Yeah, one of the blades have been knocked out of whack. This fan is getting a lot of use. I think this fan gets the most use out of the entire house. As you can see by the dust. Oh, excuse me. Just had a soda to drink. Sorry about that, guys. Pardon me. Um... Yeah, it's got a lot of dust on it, as you can see. We do have a lot of cats, too, so that's pretty sure some of that's, like, cat fur. Uh, I do need to dust these things. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it back on. It does have a slight issue because the switch housing is bent, so the blade brackets are hitting the switch. It's, like, rubbing on the switch housing. I think it might have fixed itself, but when it's on low, it actually shows that issue. Um, it wobbles less on high. Interesting. It wobbles more on medium. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back down to medium since they're not here today. They're all at work. I don't work today. I just uh, got another job somewhere. Yeah, they main, they mainly run it on uh, medium. Um, so here's the uh, the bathroom. I'm not going to show you the toilet or anything because it doesn't look the best. Okay. So here's the uh, oh, there's a bunch of spiders in there too. Okay. Well, the reason why the only reason why I have to come in here is to show you guys the uh, exhaust fan because it is a fan. And it does need attention. There's another smart bulb in here. And that nightlight down there has been running forever. Yeah, sorry about all the cobwebs. These spiders are crazy. Out of all the bathrooms, this one would have an exhaust fan. Even though it doesn't have a bathtub. I'll get closer to it and turn it on so you guys can hear the startup. There's this stuff on the floor. Oh, not very much of a startup there. All right, I'll move to another room. I'm gonna uh, end the video in my room because obviously my room is like the crown jewel of all the f fans that I have. So I'll see you guys in the next room. Okay, so here's this one. This one gets the least amount of use in the entire house. Uh, it's off by the switch because we never need, need it on because we have another light right there that we always use in here. There's another switch here, but that goes to a set of Christmas lights in that thing right there. They're, they don't work. I mean, the lights themselves work, but there's a bad short in there somewhere. Like, I'm assuming the wire of the Christmas lights have, like, a gash in them or something, and they're having a bad short. Maybe they were eaten by a rat or something in the past. But this one wobbles like crazy. 
it has a it has the down rod pin in it though so uh, it should be fine it doesn't have a long enough set screw in it for the down rod okay we're on high now this one is not a very good type of fan I actually put up one of these in my grandparents house as you guys would have seen in one of my previous videos yeah it doesn't wobble that bad on high but it wobbles worse on medium and if you put it in downdraft mode it wobbles like it ain't got no sense in the world so downdraft mode it wobbles for some reason worse okay it's starting to wobble bad now that makes sense yeah that's why we don't leave this thing on high because it wobbles super bad I gotta get up there and change that screw out to a better screw. Sometimes we leave it on medium, and oftentimes we leave it on low. I'm probably just gonna leave it on low. It gets hot in here too. All right. So yeah, I can actually pull the chain on this one. I think this one's the uh, it's a I think it's a Clarkston. Is it a Hampton Bay Clarkston or a Harbor Breeze Clarkston? I, I don't know. I don't remember which brand it's with. I don't use an editing app, so I can't correct myself in the future. So whatever it is is what it is. If you know, you know. So, yeah. It's something Clarkston, I think. I put up one of these before and it said Clarkston. Unless I'm referring to the other fan. I'm not sure. There's a fan in the living room that has a name as well. I'm trying to decide what speed I want to leave that on in case it's ever turned on. I think the fan in the living room might be a Clarkston. I don't know. Clarkston. Uh, Clarkston. I can't even get the name right. <clears throat> but here's the next room. This one gets a little bit more use. It's, you could tell the speed and the lights never changed because of all the... Well, I think that chain with the... Uh, Cobwebs on it is the light. They hang out on this one. So yeah, everyone knows what type of fan this is. If you don't, that's alright. <clears throat> it is a uh, Hampton Bay Littleton. Some people like these, a lot of people don't. <clears throat> I don't mind them. They're not the best thing in the whole wide world. But they're cool. I think this is medium. This one runs pretty well. <clears throat> oh no, no, that's high. It was running on low. It, this one runs pretty fast and impressively. <clears throat> I, started, I tried to say surprisingly and impressively at the same time as you can see. Yeah. I'm not on the tripod today. I have a new tripod. I'm not, I'm not on it today because it's a carry. Uh, it, my tripod's in a spot where I like to leave it set up at where I do videos for um, other things. So I, I leave it where it's at. But yeah. It's a little loud on high because of the bearings. Bearings are kind of noisy as you can hear oh wow these bearings are just getting louder yeah, you could tell that thing had been used very much on high oh it's even worse now yeah. just got the bearings up to moving around so they're a little uh they're a little crunchy this is the laundry room by the way all right we're gonna go ahead and move to the living room all right, here's this one. I want to say this one may be my least favorite in terms of uh, speed. This one's the slowest one we have. Um, maybe this one's the Clarkston. 
I don't know. I'm getting the names mixed up. I always do. It's a Hampton Bay. It's got the Hampton Bay pool. It's missing one of them. I don't remember if it ever had one. I'd probably look back in other videos to see if it ever had a, a, a decorative pool on that middle light pool chain. I have the same old LEDs in this thing. I want to change the LEDs out to something brighter. I have a brighter bulb. Oh, the camera's doing something weird there. I have one LED bulb that is bright. It's one of the ones that are, um, that get like the circuit board on the half of the bulb and the other half is the actual light. Looks like a golf ball. But I only have one and there's three sockets here. So I'd have to choose wisely where I would put it. Because it, it, this is a pretty big room for a, a fan with a three light kit. I think it's on medium. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it could be on medium. Oh no, it was on low, thankfully. It has a very interesting startup sound. You can hear the motor. Let me move that out of the way, a little bag. <clears throat> Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't think I would actually be able to make a uh, national ceiling fan day video, but uh, it looks like here I am doing one. There we go. There's high. Don't mind that noise in the background. That's a little police scanner that my dad has. Sometimes it gets annoying. Uh, yeah. It. Uh, I left all the fans in updraft mode. From winter, I forgot to make them all back to downdraft, but that's okay because summer's already almost over, so there's no point in putting them back in downdraft just to put them back in updraft. Because I think around Halloween time, or a little, or a little before Halloween time, it starts getting colder. Come on, I'm gonna leave that one on medium. I know I just pulled the chain a bazillion times there. <clears throat> no spin downs as you notice because uh it's just a little short video for national ceiling fan day i had I, I knew i had to do something okay we'll turn that one off we're gonna move to my brother's room and here's this one it's already on uh i have it on by the switch but um let me step over this real quick oh. Uh, there we go. I'm not sure which. Okay, the smaller chain is the fan. It doesn't look like it, but it is. I don't think I can turn the light on on this one. It is an Alexa light as well. Yeah. I don't know if the light. Is doing anything <clears throat> this one's also a uh, smart bulb but sometimes if you turn it on and turn it on I mean turn turn it off and turn it on real fast it'll just come on and stay on it'll stay connected too but it doesn't look like that oh there it is I had to turn it off for a little longer hopefully it doesn't start flashing like it normally does because sometimes when it loses connection it'll flash It'd go off and on, off and on, that kind of thing. <clears throat> you can tell power outages are terrible out here because when the lights are off for too long, like the, all the smart lights we have, um, gets a little um, flashy. I'm not sure what speed I just put this thing on. It was on high mode. Okay. High speed. All right, well, well, there's another fan down here. Here's this little guy right here. I did a repair video on one of these before. I don't know where the other one is, but it's an old school fan, as you can see by the switches. Not gonna change the speeds on that one, because it keeps it rather nice in here. <coughs> Alright, now we're going to move on to my room. Uh, there's not much to see in my room anyway because 
the only real thing to see is uh, my my fan that's in my room installed and the one that I installed on the testing rig. Alright, now we're in my room. Please uh, ignore the water noises. That's my fish tanks. They're running low on water so the fountains are louder. Uh, yeah, here's this one. I don't use this one much at all, actually. Uh, the only time I really do use it, or any time I really do use it, I only use it on low. And if I feel like it, I'll put it up to medium because this thing is only mounted with one screw in the, uh, the outlet box because the other screw holes for the outlet box is stripped and broken. So this thing's kind of dangerously up there now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to crank it up to medium. Give it a little... Nah, I'm not going to give it a kickstart. That'll ruin the startup. I don't ever run this one much at all ever since I installed the one on the, the testing rig. I have it on high, something I haven't had it on in a long time. Let's see what it's going to do. Alright. I'm going to turn it off. Alright, moving on. Here we are with some uh, good uh, stuff going on. I got a turn this one down. Move my chair over. Oh, it doesn't want to move over. Okay, well. Alright. I put the light on the dimmer switch on that one. And the fan is not on the dimmer. It's just uh, the light on the fan being on the dimmer. Some people uh, put ceiling fans on dimmer switches the wrong way where it accidentally dims the motor down instead of the light and then some people uh, accidentally put the whole thing on the dimmer switch like as they dim it down the light goes down in the motor so something you don't necessarily want So yeah, there's the three in the background, my messy collection wires and stuff like that. Well, not much to see on this three-bladed one, other than the light dimmer that I put on it. So I can dim it down. That's as low as it'll go there. That's as high as it'll go there. So yeah, uh, all the fans in the background, they do work. I'll go ahead and go to low. I don't like to keep the I don't like to keep the fan off at all whenever those lights are on in, inside of it cuz those lights in there, they're incandescent, so they get really hot. I'm surprised I've never smelled a burning smell from this thing whenever those lights are on in there. I've had this fan new in box for a long time and up until maybe a year or a year and a half, maybe just a year ago, I decided to install it. Uh, actually, no, it wasn't, it wasn't even a year. It's almost been a year though, but a little more than a year ago is when it was new in box or like still sitting in my collection new in box. See that looks like a high speed for it. Well. In real life it does, um, in the camera you can't really tell because it's not very seeable. 
There we are. Sorry I'm keeping the camera up, because I'm trying to watch it in real life, then watch it in the, in the camera, then watch where I'm stepping all at the same time. And the fluorescent lights in my closet still work. Um, not sure if I'll be able to get them turned on, because a lot of stuff in the way. I created a little gaming setup there. Alright. Sometimes I like to leave this one on medium. But I'm going to turn it off completely because I need to get around it to turn on the fluorescent lights. At least try anyway. Alright. Ow. Good. Slow it down. All right, uh, as you can see, the lights do work on these. Let me see if I can get around to get this chain pulled. They still are hooked up. I had to take a bulb out of this for my mom. She got a new lamp. Uh, I can't turn that one on over there because I'm kind of in a chair way right now. Here's this fluorescent light. Ugh. That still works. Here's this one. I know this is um I know the lights are kind of changing the topic here. But I thought I would still show you guys the lights anyway. And here's this little guy right here. These don't get very much use anymore now that I have my testing rig. Oh man, this motor's hot. Nice. That's as hot as it will get, though, luckily. Unless I leave the lights on too long without it on. Okay, there's the dimmer switch. It's a basic setup dimmer switch right now, as you can see. Alright, so yeah, there's all the <clears throat> fluorescence on for now. Oh, I forgot one important fluorescent for you guys. This one. Can you guys see that? Yeah. This one's nearing the end of its life because it, I've had I have caught it flickering before. Like it's a very slight flicker. For sake of the video, I'm actually just gonna aim aim this one up. That way you guys can see it. There we go. Amazing. I should have just aimed it up like that in the first place. As you can see, if I get close enough, things are not looking good for those uh filaments. <clears throat> Luckily, I have an entire box of like six uh, uh, six new bulbs, so I could replace this one if I need to. There's also another thing I need to show you guys. It's new. I haven't showed you guys this yet. I mean, uh, I'm not showing you it right now, but I will show you eventually. But here, here's this nightlight. <clears throat> the nightlight doesn't get very much use anymore because I like to keep my dark uh, my room super dark at night because I help I. I learned that keeping my room super dark where I almost can't see anything helps me sleep better. So, um, yeah, as long as uh, you're not afraid of the dark and you have ADHD, you should be able to sleep really nice when you have your room really dark. <clears throat> but the thing is, my eyes are super good at adjusting to even the smallest light in the room. So, my little Oculus there... That little green light on it was able to illuminate my entire room when my eyes fully adjusted. I literally have a cat's vision. Okay, we're going to lower that. Turn it off. I've been using that quite a bit lately. <clears throat> I do have a light bulb collection, but it's sitting underneath my table. So, um, <clears throat> we won't be able to get to that. Uh, besides, this is just about fans anyway, so, no lights, uh, yeah, one more thing, this is the thing I was talking about that I haven't shown you guys yet, it's a really rare find if I want to say, Oops. almost dropped my chair, Look this, it runs on, uh, really do not think this out. There we are. Oh, yeah, there's my graduation robe. I graduated this year. 
or my gown, as I would call it. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I got you covered right now. Alright, there we go. This is a fluorescent camping lamp. Waterproof, I believe. It's got two uh, 9 watt bulbs in it. Cold white. One of them's going to burn out soon. So there's one. It doesn't look cold white in the camera. It looks more like a bluish white, but it's actually super white in uh, real life. Then, you have an option for one, and then you have an option for two. And one of them's flickering. Originally, this one was on this side. So, no matter what setting you had to switch on, this one would come on. So that's why I moved it, because this one's got a very bad blackening spot on that, and it's flickering. So... I'm going to let that one get the least use possible before it dies. I'm actually going to let that one heat up all the way just to see how well it illuminates my room. <clears throat> and I still have the system in this uh, uh, closet where if I pull this, everything dies. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn everything off manually. I'll dim this down because I'm using that lantern. Uh, there we are. And as always, there's my blades on the wall. <clears throat> I'm not necessarily going to run through the different types of blades there because that would take a lot of time. I don't think I have enough recording time for that. So there it is. It's illuminating quite a bit of light and it's still there flickering. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go all the way across my room and then give you the full view of the closet there. There's my DJ stuff. I've been running that hobby for a while now. They're currently down right now because my console's needing repairing. So, can't do anything to them at the moment. Uh, but yeah. I'll go ahead and turn this back on. Run it on medium, turn it off. Ooh, I hit my hand on the thing again. All right. Happy National Ceiling Fan Day, and thank you guys for watching.